Hello everyone, welcome to Homework Help. If you find the videos useful, please subscribe to the channel. So the first thing we need to do is uh, analyze 7 pi over 12 in terms of the special angles and see if we can break down 7 pi over 12 into a sum or a difference of special angles. So I'll write what the special angles are. So we know that the special angles are pi over 6, pi over 4, and pi over 3. Now for many students it can be difficult to figure out how 7 pi over 12 is related to any of these three special angles. So it's best to convert this uh, radian angle 7 pi over 12 into a degree angle. And we do that by replacing pi by 180. And we can evaluate this expression using our calculator. 105 degrees. And we know that pi over 6 is 30 degrees. Pi over 4 is 45 degrees and pi over 3 is 60 degrees. 45 degrees plus 60 degrees is equal to 105 degrees. So that means 7 pi over 12 can also be written as pi over 4 plus pi over 3. So we can rewrite the expression sine 7 pi over 12 as sine of pi over 4 plus pi over 3. Now we can expand this expression using the angle sum identity for sine. So I'll write it on the board. So the angle sum identity for sine is the sine of a plus b is equal to sine a cos b plus cos of a times sine of b. So in our expression, a is equal to pi over 4 and b is equal to pi over 3. So now we can expand it. So we get sine pi over 4 and then cos pi over 3. plus sine pi over 3 times cos pi over 4. Now since pi over 4 and pi over 3 are special angles, we can use special triangles to evaluate sine pi over 4, cos pi over 3, and sine pi over 3 and cos pi over 4. So I can show you the steps for that or you can also use your calculator or your unit circle but in case you are not allowed that then you can use the special triangles. So we can start with the pi over 4 triangle. So the pi over 4 triangle looks like this. So the sides can be labeled as so this is the pi over 4 angle and it's a right angle and the sides can be labeled as square root of 2, square root of 2 and 2. And for sine the formula is opposite over hypotenuse. So that's the formula as per Sokatoa. So that means sine of pi over 4 will be square root of 2 over 2 times now we have to use the special triangle for pi over 3 
and that special triangle looks something like this. So this is pi over 3. <coughs> it's a right angle triangle. So we have 1 square root of 3 and 2. So cos of pi over 3. Now for cos, the formula is adjacent over hypotenuse. That's the formula as per Sokatua. So cos of pi over 3 is 1 over 2. And then plus, now sine of pi over 3. So we can use the uh, same special triangle. So for uh, sine, the formula is opposite over hypotenuse. So square root of 3 over 2. And now cos of pi over 4, for cos the formula is adjacent over hypotenuse. So it will be square root of 2 over 2. Now we have to simplify this expression to get the final answer. So we can multiply the fractions. And when we multiply the fractions, we multiply the numerator terms and the denominator terms. So we get square root of 2 over 4 plus and now we do square root of 3 times square root of 2 which is square root of 6 over 4. Now these fractions have the same denominator so we can add their numerators so we get square root of 2 plus square root of 6 over the denominator 4. So this should be the final answer for the exact value of sine of 7 pi over 12. So I hope you'll find this video useful. Please share it, like it and subscribe to Homework Help. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.